Welcome to another episode of Kiss and Cook. Today we are making bombiza, which are basically a chocolate balls recipe from the Balkans. Let's get started by throwing 12 ounces of biscuits in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can just put the biscuits in a Ziploc bag and either smash them around with a rolling pin or just pound them with your fists. Pour the biscuits in a bowl, add 1 cup of powdered sugar and 8 ounces of room temperature butter. Mix everything together and if you're like me and it feels like your gloves are getting in the way, just take them off but of course make sure your hands are clean. Optionally, you can add a cup of hazelnuts, which are crushed to your mixture. You could use any other nut if you like as well. Simply shape the balls in your hands and place them on a tray lined with wax paper. Now let's bathe these beauties in some melted chocolate. We like to melt our chocolate on the stove. Two cups of chocolate chips, add about three tablespoons of milk to keep it nice and silky. Mix it well. We also like to add about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to keep it a little bit spicy and half a teaspoon of cinnamon to give it depth and flavor. And for those of you who don't like cinnamon, Make sure to slap it away. Now it's time to dip them in that delicious pool of chocolate. And now you can use a fork or a spoon to make sure that the balls are covered completely in chocolate. Also, if the chocolate's a little bit thick, you can either add a little bit of water or a little bit of milk to thin it out because you want to make sure you have enough chocolate to cover it completely. You can sprinkle some coconut flakes on top or any other kind of crushed nut that you prefer. Allow the bombitas to sit for about 30 minutes so the chocolate solidifies. If you want to eat a little faster, which is probably the case, just refrigerate it for 15 minutes. There's nothing wrong with eating them right away either. In fact, we highly encourage it. And that concludes our recipe. Like, follow, and subscribe, please. Till next week, keep it simple, silly, and cook.